Hey everyone, it's James again, and today I'm going to be showing you, uh, for the Dreamcast, a very, very useful tool um, if you're, you know, into playing a lot of Dreamcast games, as well as uh, Shenmue modding. Um, this tool is called Dream Explorer, and what it is, is a utility disc that allows you to do a couple of, uh, actually not a couple, actually a lot of really awesome things. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of Dream Explorer. Um, first thing you need to do is actually get an ISO of Dream Explorer. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And then burn it to a CDR. Um, I'm not going to really give directions on that. And honestly, a very big warning. Try not to burn too many discs with the Dreamcast. Um, I've had two Dreamcasts fail because of burnt discs. It really messes with the GD-ROM drive. Um, if you actually listen to it loading a burnt disc, like you can tell it's just not too good for it. Um, so I've already done that. So here we have Dream Explorer right here. This is uh, version 0.98, I believe, which is the final version or the current working version. I'm not sure if this project is still updated. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. But honestly, this tool is pretty much perfect as is. So I'm going to go ahead and put in our Dreamcast. Uh, we are running this on a NTSC, North American Region Dreamcast. Uh, I have it in Japanese just for, you know, why not. So go ahead and close the lid, have it load. Uh, this ISO is self-bootable, so it's going to go ahead and just chain load its operating system right into the system. As you can see there, Dreamcast will reboot. Um, just skip that, and you'll hear the uh, the game load. Okay, so um, big shout out to Spewed right there. Thank you very much for this tool. Uh, when you download the main ISO, it comes with three themes. We have Love Hina, Fantasy Star Online, and Shenmue, and of course we are going to pick Shenmue. So we get a Shenmue theme for the menu. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. This tool I think was originally named a VMU tool, but then it eventually evolved into Dream Explorer. There we are. Here's our tool running. So you can see we got a nice menu, background music. Okay, so I'm going to just like go through the options. I'm sorry if... Uh, the quality isn't that great. This is running on a first gen iPad. Okay, so we have open VMU. Uh, currently I have one VMU in there, so it like acts the same way as the Dreamcast main menu, but it gives you a lot of other cool things. The file manager, you can change the color, you can change your icon. You can create custom icons, which if you could see that there, hacked by James. Alright. Uh, you can save and load dumps of your VMU so that you can recover it if you were to break something. It also allows you to have backups of your VMUs. If you only have one, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can hex edit your VMU and directly hex edit save files, which comes in handy for Shenmue modding. You can defragment, reformat uh, the VMU. And then uh, you can also change the BIOS background image. Um, I forget which game actually does that, but you create a save file and it actually changes the menu of the Dreamcast itself. Then we have this cool thing called a VMU emulator. And uh, what that does is it allows you to play the VMU games on your TV. Which uh, I guess I'll show you real quick a game. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't have a VMU game on here, so it's not going to let me load that. Uh, open CD. Now, this is some pretty cool stuff. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just actually turn this down. Just in case it's a little too loud on the video there. Okay. So here we have VMU games. Uh, so let's do action. Now this is running in that um, in that emulator. So this right here is the actual VMU game running on the TV. Uh, I just exited for some reason, but anyway, you saw that it worked. Then here we have. Uh, save files. Now this is this is why I use this disk. Um, this right here is a repository of geez, like thousands of save files for like any Dreamcast game really. So here we'll go into this directory here and you can see we have Arrow Wings 2, Air Force Delta, Alone in the Dark, Aqua GT, Army Men, Soldiers Heroes, Bang IO, Biohazard, Black Matrix, Blue Stinger, Blue Submarine, there's so much stuff in here, but the notable thing is we have Shenmue and Shenmue 2. Uh, these have a lot of hacked save files. Uh, so, for instance, this one starts you on disk 3. 
Uh, this one allows you to keep your bag. This is a United States cleared file. Uh, there's a little description down here of what it is. Uh, this is the Golden Quarter mod file from Lon DC. This is the Stay Up All Night one from uh, from Lon DC. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then they come with text files that briefly explain what's in them. So this one says, um, in French, is saying this is a system save for uh, slot three for disk one. And this one is uh, hold on one second. I just exited by itself. Uh, this one's for the come over guest house. This is a disk four sys file. So I assume for the power region, that's going to start you on disk four. So yeah, that that's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and download a save file to show you uh, what else you can do. So say, uh, let's go to Shenmue, Shenmue 2 here. And let's grab let's see number six. Oh, okay, cool. So this is Lon DC's mod, Matt. Thanks very much. Um, this is the uh, save file that allows you to explore the beta version of Aberdeen on the Japanese version. So let's go ahead and install that one. So number six. So we're gonna copy that to the VMU. It's going to say, hey, you want to copy this? It's going to search the VMU. It's going to see that I already have a save file. We're going to hit OK for that. And it's deleting my file, and now it's writing to the VMU. And that's it. So let me go ahead and grab my copy of Shenmue 2 to show you that it worked. Here we are with the Japanese version of Shenmue 2. And I'm also going to need my Utopia loader. Since this is the North American region, we will need a Utopia loader. So shut this off. Change the disk here. Put that on. this open, hot swap the disk, and then Shenmue 2 will load. Props to Team Utopia, miss you guys. It's getting a little bright outside. It's probably a glare in the screen there. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so Shenmue 2. Alright, so here we are. This is the modded save file we just installed. This is for Beta Aberdeen, which is why there's no picture. So there you have it. Um, this mod right here was created by Matt Kilpatrick on DC. Uh, pretty much this, um, this map right here exists on the disk but it's never like playable. It's a beta version of Aberdeen. Uh, and it's entirely Aberdeen, so it's Worker's Pier, Fortune's Pier, all together in one map with no loading zone. You can actually see the loading zones. Um, <clears throat> so this uh, is pretty cool, actually. And it looks like I'm boarded off for some reason. That's weird. I've seen another save mod where you can boot up into here, but you'll be on that side. 
Um, as you can see, there's some Japanese writing there. Um, over there is the loading zone. There's actually Gairagen, uh, Hiragan, I'm sorry, Gairagen Katakana that says loading zone. It's pretty funny. So, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, um, that's Dream Explorer and then a little tidbit on installing Hack Shenmue save files. Um, big ups to Spewed for making the uh, VMU tool and eventually leading to Dream Explorer. Big ups to Team Utopia and big ups to Lon DC. So, anyway guys, as always, have a nice day.